When it comes to animals and stereotypes, the feline world seems to carry the torch, or at least have a spot near the front of the line. Whether we're talking about feline behavior or cat owners and their personalities, there has always been plenty of conversation regarding cats and those who care for them. Right or wrong, there's no shortage of chatter. Women. Is there a special connection between females and felines? Women and cat owners. Do cats have a special bond with females that human males just don't seem to have? In today's material, we will talk about the female-feline relationship, whether a true connection is based on fact or just subjective scenarios and opinions, and why cats, at least on a surface level, could prefer women over men with respect to ownership and companionship. Interesting topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Who does the most while also doing the least? In short, cats are drawn and attracted to those type of people, that type of personality, who can provide the essentials, the love, the comfort, the security, while also respecting personal space and not being too eager to initiate physical contact and become a source of potential annoyance and concern. When it comes to building the bond of loyalty and trust with a cat, there will always be some degree of push and pull. Cats, although quite curious, what they really want is the easy life, a life of constant routine, and a life free of drama and direct threats. As we examine the old stereotypes between men and women, men are often more brash and bold, a bit more in your face, a bit more rough and tumble, while women, they're comforting, have a gentle nature, and are often more soft-spoken, more loving, more caring, a lot more on the tender side. Now, of course, these are just stereotypes, and I think that many, if not most, would agree that these are, in fact, the stereotypes for right or wrong. They are sort of what they are. When you place a feline into this mix based on what cats want and desire, it can be easy to see why a cat, whether male or female, young or old, would be drawn to a woman, a gentle caregiver who will respect personal space, never be too heavy-handed about things. The calming voice, the non-threatening movements, that's pretty much everything a cat's looking for. Special connection, I mean, it can be easy to see why. If you were to tell me that cats are naturally drawn to women, I'd be inclined to believe it, wouldn't you? However, is it really true? Factually true? Well, the jury is still out. Personal stories and observations? Yes, they could conclude that a special bond does exist, but at the present time, there's nothing of concrete value, at least nothing that resembles a final word. Having said that, let's now talk about the elephant in the room. That old expression, cat lady. You're a cat lady with 25 cats. Now, while I'm not here to get into the weeds about that expression, because that would be a topic for another day and a topic all by itself, but let's just talk about the saying, that expression, cat woman. A woman sitting in her recliner, presumably, uh, surrounded by cats. I mean, I've heard cat daddy just sort of as a joke, but... Cat women, the cat lady, you know, you don't really hear too much about the cat man, right? Some guy watching the big game surrounded by a dozen Persian cats? <laughs> I don't really think that's really a thing, right? The expression, it does carry a stereotype, cat lady, cat woman, and what it's meant to suggest at the core is women like felines and felines like the company of women. Based on the qualities that cats are looking for, it's hard to argue that it isn't true. If dogs are truly man's best friend the best friend of a male, then I guess felines are besties with females. Let's take a closer look at the attributes that I mentioned earlier, the reasons why cats could prefer women over men. Let's start with voice. Men, I mean, speaking of course as a man, my voice is naturally deeper than most women I know. That's just the way it is, and given the choice of females carry a voice of comfort that I, in fact, probably don't. Cats are very sensitive animals, so it only makes sense that they'd be drawn to a sensitive voice, right? Women, they are mothers. They give birth. They raise the children. They know how to handle the young. This could also play a very strong role. That baby talk. People use it often when speaking to animals, talking to cats, but who does it the very best? Probably women, if you were to ask most folks. Here again, these are conclusions, but there's some rather strong conclusions that I think most people would agree on. 
perhaps based on stereotypes, perhaps based on truth, who knows, but they are conclusions and they're rather solid. Now let's talk actions, movements, and motions, and all of that. Men are often, let's say, quicker, move a bit faster, can appear to be physically intimidating, even if they don't mean to come off that way. This is especially true if you're an athletic male, a sports guy, right? Some cats, especially at first glance, could view a man as a threat. Like, what's that? What's all that about? What's he doing? <laughs> That's a little bit too quick for me. Something to perhaps even be afraid of. Women, they're often gentler, a little bit more gentle, and often not as physically imposing. This can allow a feline to let that guard down a lot earlier, much sooner, to feel that warmth and comfort much quicker. Cats want to be where the safety is found. Makes sense to me. And anyone who comes off as non-threatening automatically has the inside track. And I think most would agree women beat men to the spot when it comes to this one, at least most of the time. Women are kind and patient. And a kitten, a young adult cat, that's certainly what they are looking for. Another reason why felines could be drawn to females is the fact that females are often drawn to felines. If cats are exposed to women more than men, it only makes sense that they be drawn to them more than men. This is really just a numbers game, a preference game, it could be. And going back to the cat lady expression, that expression, it does hold weight in other areas. It's not only that felines prefer females, but that a woman would just automatically seek out the company, perhaps, of a feline. Example, dog woman. When was the last time you heard that? Dog woman, someone's a dog woman. Cat lady, cat woman, yeah, dog woman, that's not... If that's a thing, I don't know about it. Some woman in a rocking chair surrounded by a bunch of dogs... If I've heard that expression today, it would be the first day <laughs> that I've ever heard it. Cats, for right or wrong, are often, if not always, painted. Here again, not often, you know, for right or wrong. I mean, you be the judge of that. But they're often painted as feminine, having feminine qualities. Even male cats are viewed as cute and gentle. Many times, simply because they're not dogs. Cats are often tied with femininity. Say that three times fast. Femininity. A feminine nature. And when culture brands these things, these associations, these stereotypes, they can be very hard to break. Cats can get along with anyone. They can find love and trust in anyone. And anyone can give love and trust to a cat. However, when it comes to this topic of whether there is a special connection between cats and human females, it's sort of hard to argue that there isn't some type of connection based on all that we do know. It would only make sense that some type of bond would exist, does potentially exist. Felines have a checklist all the wonderful things they're looking for, and certainly women are winning most of the time in that department. Having said that, anyone can certainly possess all of these qualities, these attributes. Cats want what they want, and they need what they need, and if you can be the one to step up to the plate and check off all the right boxes, you can be just about anyone, and the cat in question, they'll be more than happy to be loving and loyal to you. Is there really something to the topic of females and felines? Is there truly a special connection that could go beyond our understanding? Are felines truly drawn to females, or is it simply a matter of general observations, personal stories, and old, tired, perhaps, stereotypes in motion that have painted this picture of the cat lady, perhaps? Are cats drawn to females because of our meme culture, because meme culture says so? Your thoughts, your stories, anything you'd like to add to this conversation, the comment section, as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.